Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. <laughs> Folks, we got two minutes before we get to the boys game here as Garber Wolverine's about to take on the Tonkawa Buccaneers. Coach Book out. What do you think Knights can end up like for the old Wolverines? Well, I, I think the Wolverines win by big here. Uh, Talk while coming off a uh, a run here. They're one and five on the season. Uh, last loss to Chisholm the other night. So it'd be interesting to see how they try to rebound. We've seen the girls' team had a had a counter attack to the uh, from the previous meeting of the Wolverines. So we have not seen the boys' team has not seen the Talk while Buccaneers. And so we are very interested in seeing how this goes. Um, what's your thoughts here, Coach Harmon? Uh, as always, I'm confident in the Wolverines. I think if everything goes well, Wolverines come out ready to roll. Wolverines walk away with this one pretty early. But I have heard on the through the hallways, Tonkwa is a very physical team and does play extremely hard. So when you got a combination like that, things usually can go your way at times. So. Stay tuned, buckle up. We'll see, strap could be a in. Good one. It could get weird. I hope not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna begin here with introductions here. We'd like to welcome everybody to the second game of the season featuring the Garber Wolverine head coach, Fletcher Reed, assisted by Dallas Hunt. I don't know what's going on. All right, your Wolverines are going to be led by number one, Solomon Bishop. Number two, Trayvon Bennett. Number 12, Dave Nagel. Number 13, Mark Bishop. Man, myth, legend himself, number 23, Aiden Johnston. Good. All right, number 11 for Talk Wall is going to be Chaz Slavens. Number two, Cooper Braden. Number 22, Ryan Morgan. All right, number 41, J.R. Grind. And then number 33, Jake Morgan. Hawkwall does have some height on their side. Coming up, playing against Wolverines. Good thing there for the Wolverines is we're pretty tall as well. So I think we'll match up pretty well with them. Not only that, but I look for our athleticism to come out fairly quickly in this one as well. Aiden Johnson going to tip off for the Wolverines. We'll also have a chance to let's get to know Aiden a little bit later with a pregame interview. Ooh, a little senior profile here. I like it. Should be a good one. Aiden Johnson, great kid. Got him in chemistry class. Always turns his work in on time. He turns his work in on time, but we failed to get the jump there as Tonkwell is going to bring the ball up. Little Braden, Braden on over to Slavin. Slavin's going to drive. Quick little start there by the Bucks. Sully always bringing it up. 
Finds Dave top of the key. Finds Dave inside for a quick finish and it's in. That's a great finish there. Wolverine's going to pick him up full court man to man it looks like. And we're going to get a travel from the Tunkwell Buccaneers. Solly on the inbound. Solly's going to find Johnson in the corner and puts it in for three. We don't want to leave him open. We'll knock him down. All the Wolverines can Johnson. shoot. It's part of the reason we're a highly successful team at the moment. Dave stays straight up. Very smart defensive play there. He's going to have Vaughn up corner. Gonna find him. Good vision there by Vaughn as Solly just can't finish. Dave overthrew Vaughn a little bit there. Cost us on that one. Ooh. Dave's going to get called for a foul. Coach Reed does not like it. Speaking of Coach Reed, we'll have you know that I did call in the girls game. He was going to wear a bow tie tonight. And he came out in a what, Coach Bookout? Uh, looks like a very short tie. A bow tie. So I may have lost the crown crayon dispute, but I did win the bow tie. So little things in life as the ball goes off the back of the rim. Yeah, J.R. Grind going to miss his first one here as he sets up for his second shot. Dave Nagel is going to pick up his first personal foul, first team foul of the half. Grind's going to slip that second one in there. Man, the Wolverines could fall to court quickly. Oh, they're pretty quick. Good pass there by Vaughn, crosses the court. Down to Nagel. Nagel to Bishop. Bishop in for three, just out. Got Mark Bishop on the court tonight, getting his first career start for the Wolverines. Like the press early on. The press Oop. there by Mark causes a kick it up the court and ball just cross across court and it's going to be in for a three point basket by Buccaneers. Solomon's going to get a chance for a three here and it falls. I think he started off real hot in the tournament. Well, the other night, uh, not in the tournament, the other night, uh, going three for three from the three-point line there. Look to follow up on that success. A lot of pressure here by your Wolverines. As always, Solomon is applying a lot of pressure. Gets called for a little foul there on the push, but great defense by him besides that. You know, it's a boxing match. You know, you got to figure your opponent out. And sometimes you got to feel the officials out. What are they going to let you do? What are they not going to let you do? And, and Solly would take that one as a... A learning opportunity. Greatest boxer of all time. Ready to go. Mike Tyson. I have to agree. So him and Muhammad Ali go to fight as the false basket falls there for the Buccaneers and the foul. Him and Muhammad Ali fight right now, both in their primes. What happens? 12 round fight. Well, Muhammad Ali had linked on Tyson, where Tyson, that he did, um, was not as agile. Free throw's going to fall, and Dave and Sawyer fighting over the rebound as Tonkwa is going to knock, keep possession, is going to keep possession under the basket. So I, I think it's one of those deals that if uh, Mike Tyson got a hold of Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson wins. Yeah, I'm going to go first round knockout by Mike Tyson, actually. I'm going to contrary to belief. Absolutely, just quickly, too, within seconds. Ooh. But Buccaneers showing up, playing the Niners. They're going to lead 10 to 8. Slavin in there for two. Trayvon in the corner. Over to Bishop. Bishop over to Johnson. Johnson's going to drive in, kick it back out to Sully there. Sully over to Dave. Trayvon's going to set up top. Going to drive, kick it out to Mark. Solly's going to drive here. Move there by Solly. Wolverine's doing a good job of ball movement, trying to find the open shot there. They're, they're being very selective, and that's what we like. Down to Dave. Dave in for a two. Okay. Solly's going to go up. That's a great pass by Dave. A lot of people think that he's trying to shoot the ball, but what he was trying to do is get the ball to Solly. You know, Coach Reed actually coaches that. I've seen it in practice multiple times where he tells him, hey, throw it over that's the rim. That's a travel. As a pass, but 
That's a Coach Reed special. He, he's a lot of the Garber with him. It's a great pass technique. A little smoke well and mirrors well going on, but it looks like the Buccaneers are going to take their first time out of the night, and we'll take it with them. We'll be back after these messages. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. And folks, we're back, and it's going to be Wolverine basketball. Scores tied 10 to 10. Well, Coach Harmon, uh, what's your favorite holiday dish? Ooh, you know me. I like these conversations. Oh, holiday dish. So this can't be a dessert, correct? Needs to be like a dinner type thing. Sure. Christmas time. Mark Bishop's going to find Aiden Johnson. They, they move the ball around very efficiently. Going to do a skip pass over to Trey Vaughn. Mark Bishop with the rebound. Good move there by Mark. Just gets blocked by the height. Tall mountain, the mountain to climb ball. Tall mountain to climb. You know, I gave it some thought that you get the Hawaiian bread and there's a spinach dip that my mother makes an ant out of this world. That's pretty good. You eat it with the Hawaiian bread, it complements each other quite well. Very good. Well, I like a good ham on Christmas. Okay. And I'm not a big ham guy, but there's that inbounds play we love so much and Johnson just can't finish it here. Uh, he knows it. You know, he knows that uh, that was on him, but Aiden's one of those students of the game. He learns and gets better as the game goes on. You know, and the back to the Christmas thing, of course, this, it's a hard conversation because, you know, you really don't have a Christmas dinner, in my opinion. That's going to be a backcourt. It's going to be a Wolverines ball going the other way. At Thanksgiving, you got turkey, obviously, and the stuffing and green meat casserole. But as far as Christmas goes, you can go every angle pretty much there is. Yep. We had enchiladas last year at Christmas. Interesting. Which I'm a fan of. Yeah, oh, yeah. So. Chicken noodles goes pretty hard on Christmas, too. Chicken and noodles is very good. Now, dessert speaking, my mother, she was one of the first ones to get on the train of the cake balls. So she made the Oreo balls soaked in chocolate, and then you freeze them and do all that with it. Special place in my heart for those. So okay. I have to keep those number one. I will say Shelly Shelley was ahead of the game on that. We're going to get a travel call on the Bucks. Bucks looking a little sloppy to begin the game, but... Uh, See where that goes from here. It's early on. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Have you ever had the Oreo cake balls? I have. Ah. Now see Shelly, she, she used the double stuff Oreo to Ooh. kind of spice it up a little bit. Aiden Johnson, quick pass down there from Vaughn. Aiden puts it in for two off the glass. So it's 12 to 10 here. Got a tight one headed into the end of the first. Mark Bishop, not afraid to get his nose dirty there. Sticks it in there, gets a hand, knocks the ball out. Causes a lot of confusion for the Buccaneers. It's going to be the Wolverine ball going the other way. Now, big question is yourself. You know, I am a, I, I love tradition. And um, I'm a big turkey on Thanksgiving, turkey on Christmas. Uh, Brett Howley in there for three. Coming off the bench, he ain't cold, he's hot and ready. The sharpshooter, Brett Howley with the three-point shot. They have a moving screen there that was not called. Well, they got a better view than we do, and... Charge, ladies and gentlemen, was the call. We're getting good at that one, man. We are. We are. It's like fine wine. It just gets better as it's time. 
Now, what were you, you said turkey and. Yeah, so I'm a big fried turkey guy. You know, you, you fry the turkey, you have the turkey for Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, but we kind of kick it up a notch. Mrs. Bookout makes phenomenal chicken and noodles, homemade noodles. Man, she's rolling noodles. You got me. I'm Here, in. Here's the deal. She's, she's Italian, okay? She, she does great cooking. There's nothing she doesn't do that's good. Don't um, she's going to get away with one there. Good little shot block. Dave's going to bring it down. Dave's coast to coast. Look for it. Slavin. He's going to maintain not Slavin. Morgan. Sorry about that. Morgan's going to knock the ball out. But she's a great cook. Uh, does a great job. Um, so what we do is we do with the left leftover turkey uh, is she makes turkey and noodles. Never heard of that in my life. Must be good. Vaughn hits the three-point basket there. And so I'll be expecting a phone call next time that's made. Well, uh, Mrs. Bookout has um, decided she does not like tradition Oh, this year. Gotten away from it. Her and uh, memes, as we call her, my mother, um, have opted for 15-footer, and it's going to fall for Ooh. wall there. Number 41. That's number 41, J.R. Grind. Brett Howard, the freshman, going to look for the three. It's not there. Kick it back out to Johnston. Johnston over to Vaughn. Vaughn's going to set his guy up. Kick it back out to Aiden Johnston. Johnston. Johnston with three. Three. Deep, deep, three. deep pretty three-point basket. There's a falls. Looking like Steph Curry. But, uh, you know what's crazy, and this will probably seem as a shock to the fans at home, Coach Bookout has never once invited me over for dinner. I'm not sure that Back to the game now as the Buccaneers take it on the right side of the court. Crossed in the grinds, top of the key, three-point basket, and it's no good as Howard's going to come up with the rebound. The Wolverines start pushing it up the court quickly here. Howard's, Howard's going to get the corner and, and can't finish. Just off. He was trying one of those famous passes there. And just I think that was another pass, and we just, he thought he had an open guy, and he just wasn't open underneath the basket, so. Um, moved quickly downward, that's all I saw. Yeah. Uh, Brett Howard's going to pick up his first personal, 14 foul of the half, uh, with 34 seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, yeah, so. You know, I, I, I don't have an issue with Coach Harmon coming to dinner. Um, I remember Coach Harmon just knocking no on my door as a young child and running with all of his buddies while I was having dinner, so that maybe is a little. Well, I was a uh, junior in high school at that point, as yeah. you may not know. Shows Coach Bookout's young age there. <laughs> David's going to get the ball, good move, and fade away into the inside, Great just can't move. finish. You know, I taught him that move, but when I taught him, the basket went in. So. Ooh, good. Ooh. Little put back there. Little pinball action there for Tonka Wall to get one put in. Howry for three, and that's just a little off. Ooh. It looks like uh, Tonka Wall. Tonka hits his own teammate in the head and wants the foul there on the Wolverines, but it's no call. As it should have been as that brings us to the end of the first with the score. Wolverines 21, Bucks 14. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. And folks, we're back. We started second quarter here. Got a little score update here. Bowl games for those of you at home. If you're watching this, got a football game on tonight via ESPN. We got Coastal Carolina down 39 to Northern Illinois 41. Eight minutes left in the fourth as we're back here to the Wolverine basketball. 
Fred Howard's going to inbound the ball to Mark Bishop. Mark Bishop's going to kick it over to his brother, Sully. You know, I talked to Coach Weibling after, or, uh, during the break there. Oh, close, 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 close. I and, looked uh, down because I was stepping on your cord and totally missed that, so thanks you know, for that. Coach Weibling is, uh, he said he's just a big uh, tomato soup guy on Christmas. So, that yeah, sounds about right. You know, but that's what makes Mr. Weibling so good. He, you know, he's Keep an onion. it simple and success can happen, you know. You're over here talking about fried turkey, chicken noodle soup. And this guy over here is just tomato, tomato soup. soup. Got me in the middle with ham. As Mark's a little bit short on the shot. Aiden, good follow-up. Should have been a foul. I don't know how that wasn't. But a good put back there. That was a lot of contact on that first shot. Dave with a great defensive play there and the box out helped Mark get the rebound. A little pressure there on Mark. Mark doesn't feel the pressure from behind, gives up the layup. Again, Wolverines up the court quickly as Howard's going to get called for a travel. Well, it's a freshman, freshman. Turnover, turnover there, but they'll be good. They'll get settled in. Seeing Coach Reed down there at the bottom, you know, on the sideline. He's coaching them up every second of the game. Yeah, I don't know about you, Coach Bookout, but I'm, I'm missing our uh, air-conditioned ice-down water bottle press box at Garver High right about now. Is That's a travel. There should Ooh. be a travel call, but looks like there's going to be a foul called instead on the Wolverines. Yeah, that, was a, that was an interesting angle from back there when you had a, a judge underneath. He's even... The judge, or the uh, officials even. Well, it was a bad angle. Confused on what happened down there when he's on the baseline, but. Uh, Poor angle, but uh, I'm sure they got a better look than us. I'm, I'm sure there's a reflection off the mirror or something that they seen that we didn't. Um, we do have a uh, slightly far back angle tonight here at top row. I was saying earlier, the press box at Garber we highly miss. Yeah, well, I they make us feel important when we get set do. up in that thing. You know, nobody's got it better than us, that's for sure. You know, back in the studio, we'd uh, have those nice memory foam that's cushion That's the seats. new name, the studio. Like that. Solly with the quick handles there. Like that. Always getting pretty confident there with the ball yeah, handling. He Dave's going to go up. Dave's going to go for a strong Dennis, two. Got a lot of contact got going bodies on flying and everywhere. Good They're going to try to throw one over Sully, and that doesn't happen very often. Good pass by Tonkwa there. Tonkwa's playing well tonight. Yeah, I've seen him play twice, three times, and this is the well I've seen him. Best I've seen him play so far in the first half. It definitely came to play. Let's see if they can maintain it throughout the game. Good movement there by the Wolverines. The ball gets reversed. Oh, Howery there. He was going to go put that back in. The main 10 Wolverine ball. Howery just couldn't get a handle on it there. Trayvon Bennett's going to check back in for Brett Howery. Brett Howery's going to come out. Put in some quality minutes. Did a great job there. Johnson off the back of the rim. Oh, great block by David Nagel to send it away. We got uh, Wolverine down. We're going to head to break, and we'll be right back. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. 
The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain. And folks were back. Aiden Johnson hopped up. He's on the bench looking like he's doing okay. So that's a good sign there for the Wolverines. Fred yeah. Howard's going to come in back into the game for him. Like number three there is going to pick up the uh, foul, be his first personal. He's going to turn it over. Right. Jake Randall's going to grab the ball. Smart move by Randall right there. there. Back it out. Slavin behind the back. Vaughn oh, there. Going to block to contest it. Buck fans want a foul, but the no call. Three point by the Buccaneers, no good. Howard comes up with the rebound. He's got Vaughn up court. Ooh, smart move by Howard there to drive and get Nagel for three from there. deep, and he hits it. Dave Nagel with the open shot there. Just great ball movement. Charge. Dave Nagel picking the second charge of the night. That'd be another one. Got an act for that. I think he's averaging a two a game probably right now for us. He's doing pretty good. He's got a streak going on. But behind, it wasn't a Dover game, but every game I've watched, he has had a charge. See if he stays smart here, and he does. Ball gets up court quickly again. Asali already has it in the top of the corner. Back to Howard for three. Shot falls. Bang, right. and a fall in. Great job there. A good defensive series here by the Wolverines. Yeah, just a, it's a deep three, and it's going to be just short. Fred Howie's going to take it. Oh. Plus, they have a chance for a three, and they hit Anders going to knock that three down. Bring it back in within three for the Buccaneers. Wolverine's going to be on a quick break here. Now David Nagel is playing with a bandaged right hand. Last game, he actually dislocated all five fingers and is out here playing tonight. I've seen that. It sounded tough, but he actually just scraped it on the floor, diving for a ball one game. Well, he so. did split his head open. So that he, too, but that, that legitimately happened. That did legitimately happen. Good tough wound there by David. David Davis going to set up for two free throws here. Going to miss the first one. In and out. Solomon Bishop there is going to get the rebound. Tonkwall's going to get a hand on it. We're going to get a jump ball. It's going to be back in Tonkwall's hands with three minutes and 11 seconds left. The Wolverines up by three. Looks like the Ryan Morgan stepped out of bounds there. The Wolverines ball. Solomon Bishop's going to find Brett Howry in the corner. A little bit sloppy play there by the Wolverines. Oh. Mark gets mugged, trying for the rebound. Solomon, the great block. Mark's going to get called for a foul, it appears like. Let's see if it's him or Howry. Yeah. It's Mark gets called for his first personal. Second personal, apologies. It's a 16 foul of the half. Two minutes, 55 seconds left in the half. That's going to send Cooper Braid to the line. It's like Aiden Johnson's score table checking back into the game for the Wolverines. And check back in for Mark Bishop off the court. Yeah. 
Well, folks, with Aiden checking back into the game, let's get to know him a little bit better. I had a chance to sit down with him before the game, ask a few questions. These were his answers. Coach Bookout, what do you think Aiden Johnson's favorite thing about Garber is? Um, I'm going to say it's me, but, you know, that's uh, that's not true. You know, he, he would tell all the people that. But uh, I'm going to say chemistry class. Aiden said the community love and support for athletics and for the students at Garber. Oh, absolutely. Great answer there by Aiden. Mm -hmm. Great answer, and it's true. This one, not the best of answers. So, when asked who his favorite teacher was. That's me. At the school of Garber High School. 100% me. After a pause and a moment of thought, Aiden Johnson answered with, in quotes, Old Harmon. Old Harmon. Referring to Mr. Mark Harmon. That Ooh, one was. That's uh, K County. Getting a little bit chippy here at Conkwater Nine. As Dave comes down with a rebound. Good pump fake by Dave there. Kick it over to Howery. Wolverine's got to clean it up just a little bit. But old man Harmon was his answer in that one. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to have a talk here in a couple weeks. Eight Johnson, Johnson goes up for three. three. Can't finish. As David comes up with the offensive board, kicks it back out to Vaughn. Vaughn's going to dribble in, find Saul underneath. Saul's going to go up. He's going to get sent to the line for two. Yeah. That was a good job by Sully going up and getting that, that foul, knowing he was going to get fouled. Still put the shot up. Good shot, just, uh, just a little off the mark there. That's going to be Dominic Grind's second foul. We talked about his fifth foul of the half there. So he's going to miss his first. When asked his favorite animal, that's a unicorn. Great unique answer here. He answered with an albino alligator. Ooh, that was close. And finally, the last one for the holidays. Asked him what he was going to ask Santa for Christmas this year. His response? Two front teeth. A trash can, actually. Trash can. Say he needed a big trash can, so. Wish Aiden Johnson and his family the happiest of holidays. Great kid. It's always going to get turned over here, and he's going to have a chance for it. It goes up. Rolls it in. That was a smooth. Hawk is going to pass it in a little bit early here, making it called for an out of bounds violation. Conquaw arguing with the referee seemed to miss the inbounds there. And Dave Nagel's going to get called for an offensive foul. Oh, that's Dave Nagel with the offensive foul. That's an uh, interesting call there. Um, it's going to be the seventh team foul, his second personal of the night. This game is starting to get a little bit chippy on both sides. It's always good in a competitive moment. Got a minute left here as Wolverines lead 31 27 over Tonkwa Bucks. Got a lot, of, a lot of pressure being applied inside. Zane Johnson's fighting for the front position. And they're going to get solid on a foul. Coach Reed wanted to double dribble there. Still arguing for it. He's going to call that on Solomon Bishop there. It's going to be eighth team foul. It'll be Sully's second personal foul of the night. First shot's going to fall. Flavin's first uh, free throw going to make it, bring it back to a three-point ball game. Flavin's second. He's going to knock down his second one. 57 seconds left. You know, back to that uh, comment by Aiden Johnson, you know, community support, love for their athletics and their academics, the school all around. That was a... That couldn't be truer, Garber. That's, uh, that's amazing support. Howard knocks the three-pointer down. If Howard knocks down that support, I know you've seen it a lot, lot longer than I have, but uh, as somebody coming in from the outside, that's just a, it is amazing to see the amount of support that we receive. Folks, we seem to have lost our camera working on that. Hopefully the audio is, or audio is still working. We'll, we can coach Book out will keep talking. Hopefully you can hear it for those of you back home. There, it appears we have looks like we're back. visual back. Thanks to our tech crew, Mr. Sean Weiblin and Boston Bookout. Uh, what we missed there was a foul. We've been team total up nine fouls for the Wolverines. 
Domingo Ramirez has checked into the ballgame as well for the Wolverines as Coach Reed is still arguing for a call. Well, I don't know that he's arguing. I think he's trying to understand. You know, he's that's that's what good coaches do. They're not they don't ever argue, they're just trying to understand. And uh you know, they may be comparing uh, uh size of fish that they caught, you know. I may be a poor coach. <laughs> I tend to argue every now and then. <laughs> Vaughn with the sweet pass to Ramirez. Ramirez is going to go up, can't fish. Solid ball, the rebound goes up. Fish. And they're going to count it. Going to get sent to the line. Count the bucket, number 44. That's going to be Dominic Grind, sophomore, talk wall. It's going to be his third personal foul. There's six team foul to half with 21.9 seconds left. Solid and is going to turn that into a three point play. We've got six, no, back to five on the court for Tonka Wall. Slave, 17 seconds left. Bring the ball down. Vaughn putting on the pressure. Hey, Johnson there. Always going to come help and stays down. Aiden oh. Johnson bringing the ball up. Wolverine fans wanted to charge there. Aiden Johnson going to draw the foul and go to the line. Good play by Aiden Johnson there. Tough Crosby there with the uh, foul there, but uh, kind of looked like Sullivan Bishop took a uh, elbow to the face. There, there was a the lot of end. contact under the rim there as the Wolverine mm -hmm. faithful wanted the foul, but I either think way, I think they're only counting that as a one and one I don't know if they're counting that as shooting two. Yep, they sure are. They sure yeah. did. That was odd as well, but we'll be okay as Johnson sings the first anyways. Coach Book out on a short leash here tonight as we keep stepping on his cord. Jackson Wibling checking into the game for Solomon Bishop. 4.4 seconds left in the half. Number 32, Jackson Wibling in for the big body presence. Yeah. Crashes in underneath the basket. Jackson's going to get back on defense for the Wolverines. And throw it up from half court and off the glass as Domingo comes out with the rebound. Your Wolverines lead the Buccaneers 39 to 31 going into halftime. We'll be back after halftime. Fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. System, give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. 
Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Laser Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. And Wolverine fans, we're back. We've got three minutes left to go at halftime. Will the boys take on the Tonkawa Buccaneers in the second half? Coach, look out. Thoughts on the first half? Well, I thought we did a really good job there in the first half of being aggressive, staying aggressive. Uh, obviously, we're trying to learn, you know, how officials are calling the game today. Uh, again, Tonkawa kind of stepped up their physicality there at the end. And, again, I think we were able to exploit it with our athleticism. 
And so I see more of that in the second half. Uh, how about you, Coach Harmon? Oh, Tonkawa is having success when it gets chaotic. we got to, I don't want to say slow it down because that's not our style, but we just got to clean it up. When we get sloppy, the game gets a little bit chaotic, and Tonkawa is having a little more success there. So uh, as long as we stay under control and keep playing our fast game still, should be okay in this one. But I got to hate to talk about They're playing well tonight, playing physical like we thought they would. They're just, you know, they're, they are playing to our level of play as far as uh, effort goes, which is something I rarely see other teams do with our guys. But they are doing it as we speak. I'm sure Coach Reed gave our guys a talk at half, see if they can pull out of it with a little more effort and intensity coming out here in the third quarter. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, the coach staff does a great job in, of uh, refocusing our kids and getting them back into uh, playing our style of game, you know. Our kids have kept their cool quite nicely. There's been some uh, calls that could have went either way, and our kids have done a good job keeping the cool, and we'll see if that will continue in the second half. I agree, I agree. It'll be an interesting second half to, to see how it goes here. This is usually when our athleticism comes into play and you start seeing us pull away uh, here at the end um, of these games, especially if you know we're playing a team that's not as disciplined as we are. You know, we're sitting here as kind of spool broadcasters. We have an eight-point lead, and we're sitting here as if it's tied. There would be a lot of people happy with an eight-point lead going in third, but it's not not quite what we're used to seeing from the Wolverines. But either way, right. level of expectations there. Kids do a good job responding to that. You know, they, they do a great job. They take pride in the, their craft, and, and uh, you know, they, they want to beat the good teams and as, as well as play with everybody else. But... Uh, they definitely know that they need to uh, come out of the second half strong and finish strong here. You know what's not as cool about this halftime as what's going to be happening at homecoming is? Well, Mark Harmon's going to fight a bear. And he's been training there for uh, a while. I've I seen him uh, uh, hitting a couple slabs of beef there in the old Harmon meat Folks, locker there. if you there. have a pet bear, we are in need of an actual bear. We have not found one yet. We've been calling local zoos, but... Yeah, they've yeah. kind of frowned upon the whole fighting a bear. So, if you but, do have uh, a pet bear and would like to donate for a good cause for up to, well, I would say 20 minutes, but Mark's not going to It, it, it doesn't have to be a fully house trained bear. It can be a mildly trained bear. We're good with that. I would like a savage animal, wild one. Well, with Mark, but I'm not trying to inherit a lot of land either. So, well, <laughs> not saying I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't want to do it right now. Maybe you know it's a way to. Hope we get away quite a few years on that one, but well, hey, we're back here to the second half is Trayvon's going to drive baseline and pass is going to get away from it. It's going to stay in the hands of the Wolverines. Yep. Again, Miss Mack, Miss Almondson, hit Mr. Mark Harmon up for your beef vouchers. All right, number 41, J.R. Grind's going to get that ball. Kick it over to the top. Talk wall Buccaneers. Again, oh. chaos. We've got to keep it down as we do and gets it back under control. As David does a good job getting us relaxed. Johnson's going to pull back. We're going to get a set call, it looks like here. Back to. Uh, Ball's going to get thrown inside Johnson. Johnson, one dribble. Ooh. Gets blocked, but goes back up anyways. David's going to get fouled and go to the two. Great job there. Back to uh, Ms. Amundsen and Mrs. Mack being the trivia experts they are. I've been fortunate enough to play a couple trivia nights with them, and uh, they are very good. Once again, Coach Bookout doesn't think a whole lot of my friendship. I've been with him every single time we've played trivia, but... This is a I true feel, story. I we be, have been there. I failed to be mentioned in that equation. So. And you bring a lot to the table. You do. No dinner, book out household. And I'm not even at trivia night. David hits the second free throw. Folks, we will have another trivia question here shortly. I'm going to let Coach Bookout pick the category. Coach Bookout, would you like country or music? And by country, I mean geographical countries or I want to go the music crowd. As David Nagel goes up strong for the free throw and he's going to follow it through with it as he's going to go to the line for a three-point play. We're going to count the bucket, too. Um, I would like to go music. We have a uh, music connoisseur 
audience, I believe. Uh, good route there. Well, while David's shooting it, we might as well get into it. Here for your Wolverine third quarter trivia. For those of you at home, and Coach Book out here with me. That's David Sink's second free throw. What is the number one all-time Christmas song in America? By number one, I mean most played, most downloaded. As Vaughn's going to get called for a charge there. But anyways, number one Christmas song in America, all-time. All-time greatest be Vaughn's hit. first personal. Give you those at home first team think foul. about that one. Again, as always, if you know the answer, please feel free to shoot me or Coach Book out a message any way possible. And no cheating. If it's right, we'll see if we can get hooked up with a Mark Harmon. Harmon Cattle Company meets voucher. It's Mark Bishop gets the rebound, kicks it up to Sully, and Sully's going to go up strong for a layup, and it falls. Great job there by Sully. The Wolverines have a chance here to pull away. We'll see if they can do it. Biggest lead tonight up to 15. Is Slavin Mark brings the ball down. down. Yep. Hi, JC. Let's say hi, JC Wibling there. She frowns at me. Braden there with the long three. No good. Dave Nagel's going to bring the ball down. Kick it over to Vaughn. Vaughn over to Bishop. Bishop's going to drive in. Kick it over to Nagel. Dave Nagel gets fouled. Goes to the line. Again, 15 point lead here. Let's see if we can draw it out to 17. That's going to be on Cooper Braden. Send Dave Nagel to the line again. Let's see if Miss Alms and Miss Mack can double up on this one here. I'm betting that they do. Talk wall calls the timeout. We're going to head to a break again, folks. Trivia question. What is the number one Christmas song? Christmas song in America. Greatest hit of all time, Christmas song. And we're back, folks, is actually right on my right side, Mr. Sean Weibling gave the correct answer for the trivia. I'll wait a moment for those of you at home, but we'll have to hook him up with a meat voucher as well. Harmon Cattle Company taking a dent on this Friday night is not uh, one, not two, but three winners have been selected. We'll see it, if there's more. It, it's Christmas, you know. I talked to Mark today. You know, he talked to me about being in the giving mood, you know. He, he said it's about the people. Give the people what they want and they like. Like for the Harmon people. Cattle Company. That draws the lead out to 16 for the Wolverines as we're full court man-to-man -man press still. It's always going to come over for a trap. Ooh, Bell almost had a turn over there. That's what the Wolverines like. Quick, fast-paced, one-shot rebound. Cook it up the court again. Here we go as David Nagel gets fouled, but the no call. Loses control of it, and the ball gets thrown back in. It's going to maintain... Wolverines ball. Folks, again, a little score update. BSPN Coastal Carolina has just finished the ball game against Northern Illinois, Northern Illinois with a score of 47-41 in favor of the mascot for the Coastal Carolina. Ah, it's a bird. <laughs> How do you say it? Chandeliers. Coastal Carolina is a good mascot there. Good six-point victory for them. As Johnson goes up and finishes the layup as that draws it back up to 16. Good block there by Aiden Johnson. Got a buck down on the floor. He's going to get up and walk on his own. It's a good sign there. Is this like, like football where he has to come out for a play? No earthly idea. I'm going to say coach is going to try to put somebody in there for Slavin. Like you know, what do you think of the rule of football? If your helmet gets knocked off, you have to come out of play. Um, It depends. Um, in high school, I like it. Everywhere else, I don't. Yeah, I think they invented that as a kind of a safety precaution to make sure kids' helmets were properly snapped up. Yes, yes. Got mouthpieces in. Of course, now today, you know, the mouthpieces aren't attached to the helmet like they used to. 
the, back in your day. What they use for mouthpieces when you played? Piece of leather. Piece of leather. Little little pig skin. Bite down on it. Yeah. I yeah. like that. You gotta respect you old school football guys. When you guys played with, well, not four feet of snow on the ground and walked uphill both ways. Um, they used to actually slope the field to where you had to go uphill. <laughs> and John finishes it for a layup. Uh, I, you know, again, folks, just as a reminder, as it is every week, um, I am not that old. So, contrary to popular belief, and again, folks, neither am I. So, <laughs> we got quite the uh, quite the young crew up here on the old Squirtle. Or, sorry, Garber Wolverine TV. Sean Wibling, on the other hand, up here with us. Another young cat. Yeah. I would ask his age, but he's in his prime. We know that. Mark Bishop in his prime on that layup just can't catch his Aiden Johnson puts it back for him. You know, that's another one of those good passes that they practice it, you know. I don't know, does that go down as an assist if it touches the rim? No, sir, that'd be a offensive rebound. Okay. Folks, I'm sorry if you hear me breathing into my microphone. I'm having some problems as it keeps wandering up to my nose. We know that uh, we are having problems with the mics. Uh, the, this uh, gym is not acoustically pleasing. But uh, apologize for any big gulps or anything like that earlier on. Slaving, driving. Well, folks, for those of you at home, it doesn't look like I'm receiving any more via text message or emails over trivia. Mr. Sean Wibley knew it. Maybe some of you at home do. Number one Christmas song in America. Hold on. Mariah Carey. False. It's a close second. The number one Christmas song in America is White Christmas by Bing Crosby. How does that go? Mr. Harmon. Oh, man, I was Bless just the people to with I was your just to angelic voice. Help me with the chorus and I'll get it going. Oh, there's no need for help. Man, I was just listening to it in class today and I can't think of the lyrics. I've been playing Christmas music since. Something the day about I've been dreaming of a white Christmas. That's yeah, going to be that uh, Dave's fourth personal foul. It's going to put him in a little bit of foul trouble in the second half. It's going to be our second team foul of the half. It's always going to get called for a kick violation, you know? It's going to maintain Tonka Wall Ball. I think it's where he was dreaming of a white Christmas. I just can't think of it. I was going to go with Mariah. If you'd have said Mariah Carey, I'd have busted that one out, but uh, you didn't. All so I'm I want for Christmas is you. That is That's, a classic. Right? That is a classic, but it's not number one. And if you ain't first, you're last. Man, I, I just looked up the lyrics for White Christmas, and I'm sorry. I, 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 ooh, I don't know if Aiden's going to get the that was, uh, chin foul. The Wolverine fans do not like that call. That was a lot of ball, but that's Aiden's second personal of the night. Third team foul to half. Three minutes, five seconds left in the third quarter. Way by there with the Wolverines, a lot of contact. Solly getting underneath. the rebound there. Solly. Eyes up, looking down court. Nobody there. He's getting doubled. And he's going to draw a foul, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be on number 22, Ryan Morgan. Ryan Morgan's going to pick up his first personal of the night, fourth team foul. And number two, Braden, Cooper Braden, is going to check back in for Slavin here. Slavin's looking like he needs help to the end of the bench here. Mm, Aiden loses his grip on it there. Tonkwa, quick uh, grab it and turn it into two. And Tonkwa is going to take a full timeout here, folks. And we're going to take one with them as the Wolverines lead 53 to 37. Two and a half minutes left in the third.
Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Well, just got a message from my kindergarten teacher, Miss Lamer. She went with the Mariah Carey route as well. Had to inform her she was... Incorrect. As it's not a good look, Coach Harmon. That's that's a fun thing to do is tell my kindergarten teacher she was wrong. You know, not back in the day. something I would uh, would do. When she was asking me, you know, which one's red, which one's orange, and I said that one, that one, she said incorrect. Now I I get to say incorrect. So, all right, we got a timeout by the cool uh, Wolverines. For me. Love Miss Lambert to uh, death, and the Wolverines we'll be right back. Mountain. We'll be right back. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. <laughs> And we're back worldwide. Wide. Coach Wide. Harmon is uh, realizing that he is now a TV star along with a defense coordinator, Gar Wolverines. Folks, we love the, the contact you guys give us during the middle of the game. Anytime you want to shout out, reach out to us any way possible. I mean, maybe not every time, but. Find Coach Harmon at Twitter at Trend10. That is Trend, the number 10. I don't even check Twitter. You can shoot us a text, shoot us a Facebook message, email, whatever you need to do. We love the feedback. We're here for you. We, are, again, are having problems with our microphone technical difficulties as our producer is helping us out here. It's like uh, helping a toddler walk. Uh, he just shoved it literally into my teeth, so i got to pull that out a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. As Vaughn applies the pressure to the Buccaneers, Going to kick the ball over and again. Oh, that's a long three. Just a bit outside. Coach Book out stealing my one-liners there. I'm running out of them. You know, a lot of people have asked if this is uh, scripted for us. And <laughs> I always tell people, I don't read the script. The script reads me. No, this is, uh, how the kids say, this is off rip. Don't know. Did not know that. Uh, I'm still learning drip. Drip, off rip. So, Vaughn's going to push the ball down to Brett Howard. Brett Howard over to Aiden Johnson. Aiden Johnson to Solomon Bishop. Aiden Johnson's going to kick it back at the ball. Vaughn's going to set it up. Mingo, Mingo in the corner. Let's see if we can move the ball around a little bit more. Find that open shot, being very patient there. Solomon is going to pick up that foul. Cooper Braden, Cooper Braden, I believe, is this is his second personal foul, fifth team foul of the half. And Solly's going to inbound it there to... Vaughn. It's always just getting hit from every angle under the basket. They call a foul finally on on four. Yeah, that's uh, going to be Garen. It's going to be his fourth, fourth, fourth personal foul, sixth team foul of the half. We're going to do that famous inbound pass, and that's one we haven't seen yet right there. Well, we've ran it twice tonight, but I guess you weren't watching. <laughs> no, no, you brought it out. It oh, okay, uh, I got you, I got you. 
my bad. Too picky on. Too picky. Let's book out there. Do want to remind everybody that uh, we're going to take a little bit of a hiatus here uh, as the double overings are going to be on break. We will be back next game. The at Wacomas, January fourth. Two points. Two points by the other team. So Vaughn's going to get called for a carry there. Whew. Fred Howard's going to let him know that would have been good from three. Mark Bishop's going to check in for Howry. Do you know how you get uh, 33 freshmen to quiet down really quick? By the quiet game. We, we do that. But uh, you light a table on fire, and they get real quiet real quick. I mean, there was three offensive fouls there, and we don't call any of them. But no, like I said, they probably got a better angle than us. There you go. Vaughn's going to take it. Ooh. The Crisco Kid with the swift move there for two points. Yeah, that was a good two points. There were 20 seconds left. Kicking back out to Randall. Randall for three. No good. And looks like we've got 14 seconds here. We're going to push it up. Vaughn peeks up the clock. Slow it down a little bit. Time. Mingo's going to get a bounce pass into Solly. Solly, quick shot. Bang! Get in. We're going to leave that guy open. Bada bang! Deep three there. Your Wolverines are up 58 to 43. At the end of the third, we'll be right back. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. All right, folks, we're back. Beginning of the fourth quarter again, your Garble Wolverines up 58 over the Talkwall Buccaneers 43. And uh, I'd just like to mention that uh, we've had a fact checker, one of my all-time favorites, Ms. Lamer, uh, who has come in with what I thought was the number one song. I fact-checked her right back, so well, Google says. And my Google is, you know. I got to give her credit. She's really digging to try to prove a point, but I kind of have to agree with her. Aiden Johnson is going to get a foul there. Aiden Johnson going to pick up his third personal foul. And don't get me wrong, I right. much rather like the Mariah Carey song. But I was just, you know, telling people what Google said, but... Flamers Google is sharper than my Google, maybe. First free throw falls there. That'll be for Griner. Nope. Not how you pronounce the name, as I'm being told. David Nagel brings down the board, kicks it up court quickly to Solomon, as Solomon goes up high for the shot. It's Ooh, no good. Just a little off. You know, Solomon comes down with a lot of those balls. It, it's it's kind of hard to... Testing. He's he's pretty darn good. Back in underneath. Ooh. He's gonna maintain Tonkwa's ball. I say that a lot. Maintain. He's gonna maintain. Well, try to maintain your composure. You're on TV. <laughs> Worldwide. Ball gets kicked to the corner, up to three, no good, as David Nagel's going to get the board and get his head up. Feller hide just a little short there. Gonna take it easy and jog it up the court. Ball's good pump fake, good pass there by David Nagel. David's going to go up with the finish. That was pretty. You know, I really don't know what just happened, but a series of moves made the ball go in.
Looks like uh, Coach Flip Reeves is going to be uh, asked to sit down for the remainder of the ball game. So he had a couple questions that uh, they did not want to answer. Foul's going to be called on Sullivan Bishop. It's going to be his third of the night. Sixteen foul. And Aiden Johnson's going to get his hand in there and get it steal there. And it looks like that's Sullivan's going to get called for a charge. That's not going to be popular that's in the Garber fans. Not a if better angle. Maybe it'll make the call a little bit better, but uh, Sullivan Bishop's going to pick up his fourth. Personal of the night, and so he's going to have to take a, a little rest here. Brett Howard's going to check in. Drop Wolverines up 16. <laughs> it, uh, Off the glass, no good. Brady's going to get the rebound. Honkwa is going to take a timeout, and we will take a timeout with you as Garber Wolverines lead 60 to 48. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back. On <laughs> and we're back. Fourth quarter action here, six minutes, 23 seconds left. Your Garber Wolverines are up 60-46 to 46 over the Tonkwall Buccaneers. Vaughn's going to kick it down to Brett Howard. Brett Howard's going to look for the open man. Cross court, that mid-air pass, a little bit sloppy, gets picked. Randall's going to bring it down, look for something. Nothing's there. Aiden Johnson is, okay, though. Johnson there. Vaughn's going to come up the left side of the court in a hurry. Pass there. Mark goes up. He's going to call the foul. Now they are Garen there. Going to pick up the seventh team foul, second personal foul of the night. Mark Bishop's going to just miss his first one. I have a feeling he's going to sink this second one. Not often wrong, but I was wrong there. Randall's going to bring the ball down. We'll get down low to Garen. Garen, this one's going to. That's a Tay County jump ball. It's going to be a little bit until we are. Oh, Brett Howard with the pick three there. It's going to be a little bit until we're back in the studio. We are uh, we on the road next couple weeks? We're on the road for a little bit. We're back in the studio January 14th. Wolverine's got a big uh, moment in history. Is get a crowd of all those Wolverine fans love. Bob is going to make history, actually, in January, I believe, as we head down to Purcell. It'll be the first time we've ever played basketball in the history of schools well, against each other. We're going to have to check out Kendall's. 
on right a winner herself. I'm hyping it up. You know, I hyped up Snyder's chicken tonight. I don't know if you're the biggest fan, but it was still a well put meal. It, it, it was. It was It was a good gas station meal. I'll give you that. You've been hyping up Kendall's for a long time. It, it was. Um, Kendall's will have restrooms that you were able to use. So, won't have to take a key and jug. Good have to play back there. To make it On over to Aiden Johnson. Aiden Johnson with the fancy footwork that Coach Reed taught him. Oh, oh, oh Vaughn behind the back. back. There, Crisco kid gets behind his shoulder. Great David move there by David. Oh, as always. Puts it in. That was some pretty basketball there. You know, I walked by uh, the boys' practice the other day, and they were doing the tango, the dance. You know, that footwork has paid off tonight, as seen here. David Nagel is getting in one of those modes right now. I've seen him do it time and time again, and he's entered it. He's going to be relentless here for the next few minutes. That's going to be on Mark Bishop. Oh, 23, my bad. That's going to be on... Uh, we have a 23 out there. We do not have a 23 out there. Oh. Aiden Johnston is going to pick up his first. Wolverine's going to miss the first rebound, but Dave Davis is going to come out in the second. Vaughn's going to split two. They're going to hit themselves. Howie for three. Frisco kid finally in the corner. QB1 in the corner for three. From the Crisco kid himself. Great pass there by Vaughn. Perfect finish by Brett. Draws out the biggest leader of the night of 22 points for the Wolverines. A lot going on down there, and Conkwall is having a trouble in time answering for the presence of the Wolverines right there. Mark Bishop is going to get down and dirty and get that ball and get a jump ball called. That's going to stay down here for Conkwall. But as the basketball rules allow, we get the next one. I'll start my class. Yeah. Dave Nagel made a living being a workhorse here. I don't know why we wouldn't. Yeah, I got to give a shout out to David Nagel. He had a big achievement today for the. Barbara Wolverines, Dave was nominated and voted in by the peer coaches as a all-star by class safety for Class B football. That's a great achievement for the young man. We're happy, proud of him. That's a pretty big achievement there. Folks, what that means in simple terms is he's really good. He was one of the best. He was voted in as one of the best 18 football players in Class B football. So very proud of David. Had a great job senior year and look forward to it. Continue it in basketball this year. Ryan Morgan's going to pick up the second person foul there. The 18th foul. And it looks like we're going to have a key. Second foul handed out to number 22. Three. Oh, number three. Wall. Uh, Jake Randall. He's had a lot of questions for the officials all night. Yeah, he's been asking a lot of questions. He'll get teed up. I was going to talk to David Nagel. That'd be the wrong kid I would talk to on the court. Oh, I Vaughn. think they're just discussing uh, holiday recipes there. Vaughn's going to tell David to walk away smartly. Well, he didn't want to give up the secret cookie recipe that he was thinking about there. Holiday time. People sharing things with each other. I was going to miss his first. I was going to miss his first one. Wolverines are up by 20 with 3 minutes, 10 seconds left. I bet they were discussing the number one hit, holiday hit. Dave Nagel probably thought it was the Mariah Carey song. Yeah. Out of them, both of them. Hey, Wolverines are up by 20. And we're going to get a bonus shot here. Just a one. All right, Brett Howard's going to make his third shot. He's going to look see if they give him another one. Be 
Fred Harris for three. three. In and out. In and, and out. Aiden up. Johnson. Fred back in and giving the people what they want. Wolverine Nation loud and proud here in Tonkawa. Up 71-48 over the Tonkawa Buccaneers. Going to fall there on Sal uh, Sully. That's going to be his fifth foul. In a rare yeah. moment. Sully's going to check out of the game here. Mark Bishop's going to check in. Outstanding effort there by Solomon Bishop tonight. Knocking down some big threes early on in the game. Number 22, Ryan Morgan at the line. Shooting the one and one. He's going to make his first. Bring it back into a 21 point lead. Coach Bookout is uh, an earthquake? Or just some Rowdy Gorber fans? I will work on that one, but I think it's a ready go. <laughs> <laughs> Not my best work. Vaughn's going to walk it up the court after the made free throw. Scores 71 to 50. All right, got a deflection there. Howry, Howry back to Nagel. Nagel looking for the open guy. He's driving. Great move by David Nagel. There's going to be a foul on the floor, so that's going to be a one and one, ladies and gentlemen. As me and Coach Harmon are learning the basketball. I should be shooting two. Should then. be double bonus there. Double Nick bonus. Else. Like you said, we're learning, folks. Hey. By we, him, me, kind of, mostly, bus. Dave's gonna shoot and miss his first. We go for another. Number twenty-three, tough. Crosby going to check in here. Two minutes, 37 seconds left. Tough. That's a cool name there. That is a, it's a rodeo name. Tough Heaterman. I'm impressed you know him. Very good, Mr. Bookout. Yeah, thank you. You are an onion. You call people onions all the time. You are an onion. You have layers upon layers. I'm with you every day, and I find out something new. I aim to please. All right, Tonkawa's going to end ball on the ball here. I go for a nice little stroll there. Can't call it a walk. It's going to get called for a foul. That's uh, that's uh, going to put us in the double bonus as number 33. Well, that's going to be Jake Morgan. He's going to go to the line, and Mark Bishop. He's going to pick up his third personal foul of the night. It's good to see Santa Claus walking around the, uh, the stands here. Camera and stat book to boot. Damn. Oh, going to shoot two more free throws. Get another technical foul on the Punk Raw Bucks. Jake Morgan has a uh, couple questions there for the official. The official's going to tee him up. He's going <laughs> to head on in. Nope, sorry. Hit <laughs> the bench. And Aiden Johnson's going to. Aiden's trying to ask if uh, Mark needs to shoot his two first. Mark's going to. Hobble up for some free throws. Mark's going to miss his first one. Get settled in. The lineup for his second. Two minutes, 22 seconds left. Garber Wolverines up 72-51. Make that 72-51 over the top wall. Top wall Buccaneers. Aiden Johnson's going to step into the ring here. This is a uh, quite long game. This is a little bit longer than normal. Aiden Johnson's going to knock down the first one off the technical. And knock down the second one. And 
Vaughn's going to have it top key. Find David Nagel on the right side of the floor. Well, if I was a betting man, David Nagel's got four fouls. Knowing his attitude and his it's competitive spirit. Competitive spirit and physicalness more than anything. I'll be proud of him if he can fight off that fifth foul. And he's got two minutes left. Uh, he's been smart about the whole fourth quarter. I he's, been a, he's been good. Now number 44 is going to pick up his fifth foul. That's going to be Dominic Grine. As I'm told, that is the correct pronunciation. Or pronunciation coach. He is pretty good at it. Folks, for those of you that don't know, we have a staff of about eight people up here with us. We have pronunciation coach, visual coach, audio. Visual. Uh, statistician. Oh, our statistician's checker. not here tonight. She's, uh, I'm told, in Morrison. Yeah. He's <laughs> not at the game tonight. A little disappointing, but uh, that's okay. Just a tad. Sure, she'll be around. Possibly for future games as Johnson puts up another shot in its end. Well, one can only hope. Kind of depends on our broadcaster. Well, but look out. What do you have on your Christmas list as three-point shot goes up and no good? Well, you know, all I really want is world peace. Yeah, okay. Now, what's a really on your list? Well... To be honest with you, I really don't have anything on my Christmas list. Not one thing where you were like, oh, wow, that was cool. Well, well, I mean, there's a lot of things that look cool, oh, but, uh, you know, Mrs. Bookout won't let me have a jet ski in the living room. So. Well, you don't have, you don't have water in your living room. I'm sorry? You don't have water in your living room. So no, nah, but it would be cool. You said things that are cool. Cool. It would be cool to have a jet ski in your front living room. That's all great and all, but on a serious note, nothing. The thermal socks or ooh, thermal socks? No, no. I, you know, I'm, I kind of got everything I want. My my secret Santa got me a lot of cool gifts, and so uh, I'm kind of content with that. Got me a little notepad, write down journaling entries, daily thoughts. My uh, person I gave gifts to. Mr. Sean Wybe, when he loved the hair gel I got him, so I was glad I could contribute to there. I did get some hair gel as well. Good for you. I also got Mr. Sean Wybe in a dino grow. Little dinosaurs you throw in the bathtub and they grow overnight. Hey, those are always fun. I would like that if I would have got one. Absolutely. i got to give a shout out to Miss Howery. She was my secret Santa and did a great, awesome job for me this week. Gave me some great gifts. Uh, kind of looks like the last 20 seconds. Talk wall. They're done for the break, and Wolverines are going to pack it on up and take this victory to 76 to 51. The final 10 seconds. Wolverines going to pass it around it's like a hot potato. Folks, that's going to bring the end of the game. Wolverines 76. Tonkawa, 51, an early good game as the Wolverines struggled in the first half a little bit. Tonkawa came out ready to play, but in the end, the Wolverines crank up the intensity and the speed of the game to eventually come out with a big win of 76-51 and pull away tonight here in Tonkawa. Great game, guys. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're proud to be Wolverines. And we will see you after the break. <laughs>